Hazard Pay is back on, baby. It's in the third stimulus package. But will it be in the fourth stimulus package when it gets revised in the Senate? In this throwback video, I explain Hazard Pay, essential workers, and more. Enjoy this Overnight LA video about Hazard Pay. Great news, Lowe's is looking for small business owners to get their products into Lowe's. They're looking for people who use a lot of product. Sort of like Nancy Pelosi's hairdresser. <laughs> Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I uh, hope your product is holding up this afternoon. Hope you're good and safe. This is Afternoon's LL8 every day at 3.30 with the check, then hazard pay, then FPUC, and then rent. This is hazard pay with incredible great news for essential workers who have products and are trying to really make money during this pandemic. A major new program announced minutes ago, you can be making a lot of money. I'll be getting to that right away. This is part of our two and hour programming schedule every day here on Afternoons L Light, and also part of our three and a half hour programming block every day here on this channel. Uh, boy, yesterday we reached 250,000 subscribers, a real incredible testament to the purple power. So go to the front of this channel and hit the subscribe button and drop your comments below and we may feature them in tomorrow's accordion. What was it with the wavy finger? <laughs> It's like, you know, like a lobster finger. Uh, and hit the like button so that, you know, and, and you know, thumbs up. Don't keep it up too high because the lobster might grab it. Uh, that way the video will appear higher in the rankings. Boy, an exceptionally, exceptionally great, exciting day. As so many things really unfolded, we were talking minutes ago about that Problem Solvers Caucus bill. Boy, it's one of three bills that are coming, 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 coming uh, on second stimulus, stimulus checks, FPUC. Was there hazard pay in the bill? No. Will there be hazard pay in the next two bills? I don't know. We shall see. You know, the fact that it was $1.5 trillion, I was really expecting it to have hazard pay. So what ate up? the 1.5 trillion. Well, there was some other stuff in there. Exciting news was that there was EIDL in there. So if you're a small business owner or an independent contractor and you're impacted by COVID-19, this is a bill to be excited about. A lot of money for co for EIDL. You know, Hazard Pay has so many different facets. There's the Federal Hazard Pay, the HEROES Act, $10,000 for essential workers who worked during the pandemic based upon $13 an hour from the the start of the pandemic in, in January all the way up to the present. Then we have um, state hazard pay. That's really part of the world exclusive that I first broke all over the weekend. States have fortunes. They were given fortunes under the first stimulus package and they haven't used it. It's money for you. And it's money for you for things like hazard pay that they haven't given you the money. And in some cases, they're starting to give it. And this is incredible great news. You need to be on high alert because they're starting to spend the money. This is money for rent, for utilities, for stimulus checks, for FPUC, and also for money for people who work during the pandemic. I mean, it's hard to even say it um, without getting choked up because no one seems to really care about these essential workers. It's just, whether it's state, city, or, or, or county, or federal, it's as though you just don't exist. And every time I find some glimmer of hope, I'm so excited for you because it's, it's very, very um, heartwarming that people still have faith and hope. You know, the movement really started last week when those protests erupted across the country. I detail them on this channel, whether it was, whether it was Kroger or Whole Foods or hospitals, there's a real movement by unions to get you hazard pay. That's not state hazard pay. That's not federal hazard pay. That's not city hazard pay. That's private business hazard pay. That's totally different than anything we've ever seen before because a lot of businesses paid you hazard pay when the pandemic hit, but then they stopped paying it when the customers stopped coming. They seem to tie hazard pay to the fact of how many people they have in the business. But let me turn to this incredible great news. More about that other stuff in a second. Damon John, the shark himself, 
uh, had announced today, earlier today, an incredible new deal for Lowe's, the home improvement store, and initiatives for small businesses to make a lot of money. Yes. You can get a million applicants, hopefully. I want to step up to this, said John on Squawk Box. How do I get to the masses? So what is he doing? Shark Tank investor Damon John told CNBC today that he believes his new effort is the one that's going to make the difference. You can get a million applicants, hopefully. I want people to step up to this. When you talk about diversity, you're not only talking about people of color, you're talking about females. You're talking about LGBTQ. You're talking about veterans. So all this can be a lot of people. What is going on? Oh my God, this is so exciting. It's called Making It with Lowe's. And it's giving minority-owned small businesses an opportunity to have their products for sale in Lowe's. Wow. Um, it is to put it in not only the retail, but also the website. When does the application launch? Well, it launched today. Oh boy, yes, yes, right away. And it's open to September 25th, literally around the corner. So you need to apply right away. The applicants will be narrowed down to five finalists. I put up three fingers. That's literally kind of a little math. Five finalists. <laughs> and John will help mentor and prepare all three of them to pitch to Marvin Ellison and CEO executives. Often this is the most important part. As you know, you have a product you want to distribute. How do you get to the masses? They want to give it to this vehicle to do so without taking a percentage out of the company. An interview with Squawk on the Squeet, uh, Lowe's uh, uh, chief today, said that... Um, there's going to be $55 million in the program. Wow, this is incredible. Which targets minority businesses along with those in rural communities has already received over 800,000 applications. The demand for this program led us to understand there's a lot more that we should be doing. Lowe's intends to have the finalists selected by the end of this year, and this could make the big difference for some people. I don't think I have to think about the personal manner on how to operate. How do I get the income from it? All I have to do now is care. Do this problem. Do I have an empathy for a customer? Is it going to make it lighter, faster, stronger, or saving time for somebody? I already know distribution is there. This is incredible, great news. So as we turn back to everything that is so important for you today, the question is, where will Hazard Pay Money land in the next couple of weeks? And where is it likely to come to you? First, there's two paths that looks like Hazard Pay is coming to you. The first one is city and state money from CARES Act 1 that is going to be used or lose. And the second one is money from pro uh, your prior business employer who is really being hit hard by the unions. Even if you aren't unionized, they're being hit by unions in that industry. Let me explain the first scenario. This is the world exclusive. There's so much money being held by states and cities and counties that they have to use or lose. If they lose it, the money goes back to the White House, to, 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 to Washington. And so what they have to do is disperse it to you. And those disbursements are all sort of wrapped up into different things. They're not particularly cohesive. They're not particularly the same way from one city or state to another. And I can't sit here today and tell you, oh, this is the way it is in, in New York, or this is the way it is in Tennessee. You have to be on high alert about what your city and county is doing. You have to consistently be keeping your ears and, ears and eyes open because the time to use or lose is coming up right now. How much money? We're talking about fortunes. What type of money would they give us? Well, it would be tied to a lot of different things. And it would not be $10,000. I'm absolutely not going to tell you it's going to be $10,000, but it would be money. There have been essential worker payments by the state and locals under their funds in the last couple of weeks that is really quite promising. Many of these checks have been a lot more than a stimulus check. <laughs> Trust me that. That's incredible great news. Then the next thing to really think about as you go forward is the pressure on frontline businesses. The protests are really all over the place this week, and whether it's Kroger or Whole Foods in recent days or pharmacies and hospitals, there's a real effort to say, pay the money or else. I had one viewer the other day that said, um, 
well, what do I do? I'm not unionized. I've always said, align yourself with the union. Be part of the discussion because ultimately it may help. For example, let's say you work at a small mom and pop operation. There's only three employees and you're not unionized. Well, but it's a grocery store. It's just not unionized. I would reach out to the local grocery union and ask them to assist you in dealing with the situation. The other way you do it is talking to your fellow coworkers. I have always said when I talk about hazard pay that this is about getting the employees together and having a discussion with the employer. If there's three or four employees and you all say to the boss, hey, we're working front line, we're, we're, we're central workers, you need to give us bonuses or else, that does carry weight. Now, I don't know if you're going to get $13 an hour like Nancy Pelosi wants to give you, but you'll get a bonus and that bonus may make the difference for you right away. You know, as we talk about things like Lowe's, or we're talking about things like um, state or city or county payments to you, ultimately we really don't care what it's called, do we? I mean, we really don't. The spirit of this channel has always been about getting people money. And you know, it was, it was just last night that I was helping someone who um, was working initially during the pandemic, but is not working now. And I helped them realize that they were waiting for something else of the stimulus package items. It wasn't stimulus check, but stimulus package items. And they're waiting and they weren't getting and they weren't getting and they weren't getting. It. And I'm like, did you consider this one? They're like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah, did you consider this thing? And then they thought about it and they're like, oh my goodness. I never would have thought about going to get money there. And that's what I want to empower you with. I don't want you to sort of sit back and be one of those people who says, when it lands in my bank account, uh, when I see it land, um, uh, when are they going to give me that money? I heard I'm going to get $10,000 because I was a truck driver. That's really not the purple power. The purple power is learning from what I tell you and grabbing the money that's out there. You know, a lot of these things come out very quickly and they come out very suddenly. So if you're in a county or city and you worked as a central worker, frontline, but haven't gotten a penny from it, whether it's your employer or your municipal government, you need to start having these discussions. First, you need to have the discussion with your employer. Second, you need to start looking online and checking whether your state or county or city are launching grant programs for whatever you think you qualify for. And that's what I really try to impart on people with this channel is please don't get tied up with the name of the instrument. You know, let's say it was PPP. I didn't get PPP. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I didn't get PPP. I'm just frustrated. Go get the next thing. Oh, well, I got that. And that's what I've always done. I had Adam, my truck driver, you know, in my first month of this channel, who had given a hub hope on everything. But he did follow my advice. He applied for everything. That's one of the most important things when we talk about hazard pay. Apply for everything. Because if you worked, you certainly may qualify for a lot of stuff. So go apply for everything like Adam did. He got nothing. Weeks went on, got nothing. Wasn't his fault. Wasn't my fault. Wasn't his family's fault. Just hadn't gotten it. And then one morning, his wife brought to him a check from the mailbox on the street. She said, honey, you got a, a, a letter. And it said in there, um, uh, EIDL had been approved. $150,000. $150,000. He opened up another letter. Oh, actually, his wife opened up the next letter. Said, and she said, honey, you got $500 uh, for unemployment benefits for PUA. And he looked at the letter. He's like, darling, that's not $500. That's $5,000. And one day he got one hundred fifty-five thousand dollars, five thousand dollars of you know free money, grant money for PUA, and one hundred fifty thousand dollars for loan. That was on top of the EIDL grant he had gotten a few days before as well. That's the spirit of this channel. He had almost given up hope, but he applied everywhere. So if you sit here today, don't just assume things land in your bank account. Don't just assume that you just don't do anything. Don't not look for things that are going on around you whether it's grant or rent or food or anything like that. If you worked as a frontline worker, you may be entitled to a lot of stuff in a lot of different places in a lot of different manners. And that's the spirit of this channel. Every day at four o'clock, I detail hazard pay. And when something else comes new, I tell you about it.
So with that, go to the front of this channel, hit that subscribe button, drop your comments below. I send alerts all the time. Um, if you hit that alert button, I send alerts all the time when I hear some new grant programs. Yesterday was something for um, Waco, Texas. Also like this video, it helps the video appear higher in the rankings. Coming up next is PUA and UI with big developments about that Problem Solvers Caucus bill and how much money you can get under their new FPUC. Wow, so exciting. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, stay focused, and stay up, LA.